Well, we now know who will be selected first overall in the Ontario Hockey League's priority selection draft as the Windsor Spitfires, keeping up with tradition and announcing the first overall pick the day before the draft. And down at the WFCU Center, the Spitfires have named Ethan Belches as the first overall pick for the 2024 OHL priority selection. And uh, if you tuned into the live stream, you would have noticed there was a lot of technical difficulties leading up to it. We were learning how to make cookies, I believe, from uh, the commentary that was going on. Uh, but despite the, the hiccups uh, with the technology, they were able to get the announcement underway. And uh, Windsor making that big uh, first step towards next season and uh, going with the big centerman who was playing with the Oakville Rangers, Ethan Belchess. And uh, he's, this is the first time that Windsor has selected first overall since 1976. So it's been a long time coming for this Windsor Spitfires organization. They'll have a centerman to build around going forward. And they already have some pretty good pieces to begin with uh, when you've got the four depth that they do, like Liam Greentree and company. I did a video, I think it was uh, maybe two weeks ago, or maybe just last week, talking about the Windsor Spitfires and moving forward and how uh, this first store overall pick should propel them to be a team that could compete for a playoff spot uh, in the Western Conference next year, kind of similar to what we saw with the Erie Otters this year after they picked up Matthew Schaefer first overall. But it's going to be exciting to see what uh, the Spitfires can do. And Belchitz, he uh, is he's a pretty solid forward. Uh, he uh, played for, as I mentioned, the Oakville Rangers, their under-16 team. They went on and they won the OHL Cup where he was named tournament MVP. And he is a big kid. He's already 6'4", 209 pounds. And uh, this season, in 34 games, 46 goals, 38 assists, good for 84 points. So it's going to be interesting to see how those totals will translate into the Ontario Hockey League next season and uh, just to see his game develop and grow. It's going to be uh, a lot of fun just to see how this will all pan out for the Windsor Spitfires organization. Excited to add Belchus to their roster, and it's going to be just interesting to see how this whole development will take place. And uh, for the rest of the draft that's going to take place tomorrow night, gets underway at 7 o'clock. Uh, the Sarnia Sting, they will be next to make their selection. They have the seven, second overall pick, and... It was thought that Adam Valentini or Colin Fitzgerald could be selected in that second overall spot, but we've heard some news that uh, might not be the case. Fitzgerald, who of course was playing with the Peterborough Peets under 16, he's actually signed with the Green Bay Gamblers of the USHL, while reports are suggesting that Valentini could also be following Fitzgerald to the USHL although nothing has been confirmed as of yet. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Sarnia do, does at that number two spot. Mind you, they could still select Fitzgerald or Valentini uh, because just because they signed with the USHL doesn't mean that uh, you can't draft them. You just have to try and convince them to join your organization uh, next season or down the road. So it's going to be very uh, fascinating to see how this draft all plays out. So after Sarnia... It's the Peterborough Peets. They have the third overall pick. The Niagara Ice Dogs, they pick fourth. And then the Barry Colts, they have the fifth overall selection. So it's a very interesting draft. Very forward heavy. There's a lot of good forwards in this draft. It's going to be a bit until we see a defenseman selected. I did an interview with Jordan Millette, who basically followed this draft class since September. And he talks about some of the big names uh, to expect to be called in the first round of the OHL priority selection. So if you haven't checked out that interview, I'll uh, actually, you can probably click on it on the screen here and uh, you can uh, check out our conversation about the players who are going to get called in the draft and some standouts even outside of the, the top five picks. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'm sure for a lot of these players excited to be drafted into the Canadian hockey league and it all gets underway tomorrow at seven o'clock. So that's uh, the news for today I wanted to cover. And uh, let me know in the comments section down below your thoughts on uh, the Windsor Spitfires going with Ethan Belchus. And uh, who do you think is going to be picked by your team in the first round of the OHL priority selection? Love to see the interactions. And again, thank you very much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again soon.